Welcome to the Best Kept Secrets podcast where we share our best kept secrets about life, love, God and everything in between. Hi guys, welcome to episode 5, season 3 of the Best Kept Secrets podcast where we share our best kept secrets on love, life, God and everything in between. On today's episode, I have three amazing women with me and we're going to be talking about social media and relationships. So as you know, I always let my guests introduce themselves because I don't want to sell them short. I want them to tell us everything that they do before we get into this very fun conversation. So um, we'll start on my right. All right. Tell us everything. Don't leave everything. Anything. Don't leave anything <laughs> out. How much time do you have? I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Shiki, also known as Miss Tiramisu Online. I am a content creator. Um, I think I am the veteran of social media relationships on this panel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I'm happy to be here. Mm. Yay. Yeah. My name is Soila. Soila Wamalwa. Um, content creator. I'm a mother of two, a wife of one, and <laughs> <laughs> it's important. It's important. Yeah. And yeah, I'm so happy to be here. Thank you for having me. Yay, <laughs> Joanna. Um, hi, uh, my name is Joanna. This is actually the first podcast I've ever been on, so yeah. I'm trying to relax. I had to it's prepare, okay. guys. I had to <laughs> prepare <laughs> and revise my notes. Yeah. So I'm a beauty and lifestyle content creator and the founder and CEO of my own makeup brand, Joanna K Cosmetics. Um, and I'm just excited to have Yay. this conversation. Yes. I'm actually wearing your gloss today. Ah, oh, yeah. oh, natural. Oh, natural. Mm. Oh, nice. <laughs> yes. Yes. Of course. <laughs> um, so... When I decided to have this conversation, I tried to think of people in social media couples mm -hmm. um, that I look at and I'm like, oh, okay, that's cute. <laughs> like, it's not like clout and drama mm. and those things, mm. which we will get into later on in the conversation. But I think it's important for us to have this conversation because I feel like social media plays such a big role in today's dating scene, in today's relationships, how people even act in their relationships. Mm -hmm. So I want to start by asking, um, why did you guys decide to post your partner or your relationship or marriage? Mm on social media wants to start us off. It's not Joanna. <laughs> <laughs> Joanna is like, what? I can start. I actually yeah. don't mind. This yeah. one I don't mind like starting. <laughs> um, okay, for me, actually, the decision was taken away from me. I'm okay. not the one who okay. decided to post. Um, it, it, uh, my relationship was made public on one of these um, yeah. Yeah. Th sites. Those yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, and then after that, I guess I just ran with it. Yeah. But then I don't post my relationship much. Actually, yeah. very, very yeah. rarely. Mm. So, yeah, that's how I started sharing. It wasn't my... I, mm. I wasn't like, oh, guys, I have a, something to share with you guys. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, Ella? Um, I think ours started during our wedding time. Because... Mm -hmm. But I actually saw your proposal video. Yeah. Yes. Actually, no, proposal, actually. Yes. It's a proposal. Yes. It's a proposal. And then from proposal, the wedding, and then from there, we now started having the conversations around relationships and marriage. Mm. And that's how, you know, when you put content on YouTube on relationships and marriage, there's aspects of you that also fall over mm. onto your social media because you're, how are you talking about something that you don't even, people can't see and mm. the experience that you have in that same context. Yeah. So that's how it started for us. Mm. Okay. <clears throat> for me, um, like I said, I've been doing this for very many years and it started before social media was the big monster that it is right now. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, if you're, if anyone there is one of my peers, you know the days of Facebook when we used to share absolutely everything, mm -hmm. a night out, pictures of the table, pictures of this, pictures mm -hmm. of who you're with, yeah, before we really started thinking about holding back. So that's how it started. Then um, my partner is also a content creator. So by virtue of that, he's mm. also a public figure. And yeah, so since we're both public figures, we cannot hide each other. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, for me, mm. um, we had a lot of conversations because I think I was very 
I don't know if it's, the word is scared, mm-hmm. but like Shiki is saying, social media is a lot. Like it's mm-hmm. a big scary monster sometimes. Mm-hmm. And I was just like, do I want to have my relationship open to public opinion? Um, or do I just want to keep it to myself? Mm-hmm. So we weren't hiding. People knew. And like if people mm-hmm. saw us, you see us. If you know, you know. If you don't know, you don't know. Um, then I actually had a conversation with you. I don't I know if you remember. I was even about to bring it up. <laughs> yeah, I remember. I was about to ask about people. Like, when I go for influencer yeah. events. I'm like, so now, how is it posting your mm-hmm. audio? Oh, wow. Because I was doing my research. Yeah. I was like, oh, okay, Aww. is this like as scary as I think it is? Yeah. So I asked Joanna and she was just like, oh, see, it's fine. And I was like, what if you break? Up. See if you break up, see, you break, you break up. up yeah. break up. That's literally That's what she <laughs> said to me, and I was like, you know what? It's actually not as scary as I had made it up to be in my head. Mm. Uh, but we had a lot of conversations. We decided what our boundaries are, mm. and um, they keep changing over time. And then we we're just like, oh, okay, cool. Um, I guess like when the when it's right, we'll we'll post. And then we had made this cute video video that we are going to post like years from now. Then one day he was just like, oh, you remember that cute video we made in the elevator? I want to post it. I was like, you're sure? I said, yeah, I'm sure. Mm. I was like, okay, go on. So we posted it. The famous it, the elevator. Famous <laughs> elevator. <laughs> that elevator should be at the wedding with us. Wow. Because <laughs> it, it should, we should propose in the elevator. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we didn't expect that many people to watch that video we just thought uh like we didn't even think Mm -hmm. of how many views it was going to get like Mm -hmm. nothing we just he just posted Mm -hmm. so it got like half a million views it was like on blogs and things then now our families saw it so i have my like uncles and cousins texting me being like oh congratulations (laughs) Everywhere I went, people were congratulating me. Damn. I was like, I've never been congratulated. Oh, this like a relationship. <laughs> you think I had gotten a wow. baby, I had gotten a new job. Everyone would be like, oh, congratulations. You should have launched a video. business then. Yeah. Have launched mm. something. Like, so many congratulations. Mm. And then that came with a lot of pressure. And uh, yeah, oh, so when are you getting married? Blah, blah. Damn. Yeah, exactly. So, which leads me... To my next question, Mm. how do you handle the social media pressure or the online Mm in-laws as they like to be called? Mm -hmm. Uh, Because I think this pressure also seeps into other people as well. Um, They might not be public figures, but once you post your significant other, it becomes like a thing. So Mm -hmm. what's up? What are we doing? So how do we, how, how do you guys handle that? There's something that you said that I like. Mm-hmm. Boundaries change as you go along. You need to be open to your boundaries changing. Um, for me, what I found is I'm a little less willing to share more personal stuff now. Mm-hmm. Before I was mm-hmm. quite open. Mm-hmm. I was on a YouTube channel where I shared a lot. Yeah. And I was comfortable with that at the time. But I found that now I'm a bit more careful with what I share. I share very more surface, 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 level. surface mm-hmm. level stuff. And not so much the very personal stuff. Mm -hmm. Because I feel now once you go in that direction, people just want more and more and more. Mm -hmm. And I realized this on um, the podcast that uh, my partner and I started. We have a podcast called Unit the Podcast. And I realized after we shot season one, the one thing that we kept hearing is we want more personal, more personal. Mm -hmm. But for me now, that direction I feel is a bit Mm -hmm. tricky. Mm -hmm. I'm not very comfortable with it. So... Like you said, it's just boundaries. Mm -hmm. And the pressure, honestly, if you have a supportive partner, it's very easy to remember that the pressure is just noise. That's true. Yeah, because at the end of the day, if you succumb to the pressure, who is left with the problems? It's you. (laughs) It's you guys. So, Yeah. yeah, you just decide as a couple that these are our boundaries and you stick to them, whether people are happy with it or not. If you choose to be a clout chasing couple, then you go that direction and you keep it going. Yeah. But you have to maintain it. You better maintain mm. it. That's the thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's true. I think just like she said, we had to communicate boundaries mm. with my partner. Mm. And when it comes to pressure and expectations, I think mm. for us, expectations are communicated before, even offline, mm. such that, you know, I think sometimes pressure comes from unmet expectations. Mm-hmm. You know, I have seen Sharon as like, I want that. And then I come and put pressure on my husband mm-hmm. or boyfriend. I'm like, I also want that, you know. Yeah. But no, it wasn't communicated. Mm-hmm. So if I want it, can I come back and say, you know what? I, I think 
what do you think of this expectation? Can we be able to meet this? And why do we need that met? Is that a need really or is it just a want so that we can, you know? Mm -hmm. So for us, it was more communicated offline and we really discussed before putting anything, anything online. It's like, whatever comes with this, are we ready? Mm. Whatever will come or are we not ready? If you're not ready, then it's not worth putting it up. Yeah. If it will stir up certain things that you for sure, for sure are not ready to back it up, don't put it up. So that's for us. Yes. Mm. <clears throat> Joanna? Hey, okay, me, I think unlike you guys, mm -hmm. we've never had a conversation about boundaries on social media. Mm -hmm. okay. um, I think when I posted, I think... I think I had had like maybe like some wine or some no. show. Yeah. I was just like, I'm in love. <laughs> 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 yeah. So that's just how it started. And um, because I don't post um, about our relationship on our feed, it's just never, it's never really come up. It's never been mm. a discussion that we've had mm. because it's just a story here. And a yeah, story which there, disappears after which disappears hours. after 24 hours. Yeah. So, yeah, we've never at least sat down and been like, what do you feel about this? Mm. Should we talk about this? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe we should have that conversation. Mm -hmm. Maybe we should. Mm -hmm. yeah. But do you feel the pressure? Do you feel that public pressure? To post more. Um, just in, just gen in general. In general, general yeah. Because yeah. you have a public relationship. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> do I? Do people I ask for it? it? Mm -hmm. Not, really. Not really. I think because of how I've posted, people mm -hmm. don't um, mm -hmm. expect that I'll post more. Uh, mm -hmm. And also because of how I've posted in my previous relationships, it's just the same. Like just a story here yeah. and a story there. Mm -hmm. No one has ever mm -hmm. made it to the feed. Mm -hmm. So, no, I, I wouldn't say I feel the pressure. And people okay. don't come and ask me at his share more. I'm a, <laughs> mm -hmm. Maybe uh, on the rare occasion, I'll get like an a funny question. Like if I post that I've gone for a vacation mm -hmm. with my man, someone will be like, who paid for this vacation? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> who paid? And then, and then, <laughs> and then, and then need to I know. know. And then she So that she knows who will pay for her vacation. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. I see oh, no. So that I tell her it's me who's paid. And she's like, oh, these the influencers, oh, they're yeah. lying okay. to you. Okay, uh -huh. okay, okay. I hear you. So, <laughs> apart from that, I, I, I can't say that at I feel pressure. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe from seeing other people post, mm -hmm. which yeah. now this is me as a consumer of content. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's 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 interesting because as a content creator, I know that people don't share everything. Yeah. But I'm still as a consumer somehow yes. they still get me. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> they still get me, and I'm like, hey, happens. Girlfriend allowance 80k. <laughs> and then I look at my mom. I'm like, hey, <laughs> where's mine? Where's mine? <laughs> <laughs> That's actually interesting that you've said that because I wanted us to talk about the concept of couple goals mm -hmm. and power couples and them setting the standard of things. Yeah. So how what are our, what are our thoughts about that? I think the biggest couple goal that recently just showed us that things are not the way we think is Will and Jada. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Nikki and Jamie. <laughs> huh? Uh Nikki, Nikki and, and Jamie. Jamie, like so oh, many damn. people, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So what are our, are our <laughs> thoughts about that? Have any of you guys been referred to as couple goals mm. or you, you guys are a power couple? Mm. What, what do we yeah. think about that? <laughs> Shiki the <Yeah>. better run. No, <laughs> 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 mate, wave your phone. All right, my the children. Longest. Let me tell you, my kids. My children. <laughs> um, yes, we've been referred to as couple goals. It, um, you feel like a pressure mm -hmm. when someone says that, but then... Even for me, just the same way Joanna is saying, there's a difference between being on social media as the subject versus yeah. the consumer of the content, yeah? Um, so as a consumer of content, even me, I have people who I look at as mm. couple goals and I'll see them doing things they say, the way Joanna mm. said and I'll be like, mm, actually, he needs to work a bit <laughs> harder, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I don't, I, don't, I don't like that label because... Yeah. You see very little of these people's lives. You really need to be discerning as you're watching and deciding that this is your couple goals. Maybe you say your goals are certain things that they do, but mm -hmm. just to lump people into couple goals, I don't phew, people mm -hmm. really need to be careful mm -hmm. with doing that because there are people who we've called couple goals and we've seen now later things 
stories coming out and you realize oh it really wasn't what mm. yeah we thought what it we was. thought it was yeah. i mean even for me nikki and jamie some years back i used to watch that content I'm like, oh my god that's so cute mm. and then now you see everything falling mm. apart yeah? yeah so me my thoughts are people just need to consume content with a lot of discernment mm. um i think it's fine to be inspired by a couple mm-hmm. and the values that they have portrayed online that that's fine let let those be your goals mm-hmm. but your goals cannot be i want to be like so and so's couple you don't know mm-hmm. you don't know exactly. yeah she has completely finished mm-hmm. <laughs> And <laughs> mic drop I the know, end. Drop. <laughs> <laughs> but honestly, I, yeah. I'm not delivering her point, honestly. But that's really nice. Whereby even for us, it's picking certain values mm. and principles because we are flawed. Yeah. And again, I can easily tell it's just a reel of your life. Mm. You know, yeah. it's not like the, the as a thing. as a person who's yeah. in a marriage, I know the back side of it. Yep. There's some ugly stuff, there's some yep. beautiful stuff, and we only share the beautiful stuff. Mm. We never share how did we get here? Mm. Really do people share that? And mm. if you share the ugly stuff, they'll yeah. be like, "Oh, who are you talking kila kitu?" Yeah. 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 You're looking for attention. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. For attention. Like, mm. ah. So they want the inner parts, but again they don't want it. Yeah. Mm. Cuz it's like it's 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 it pours mud on the beautiful mm. thing that they're used to. There's an expectation they have of you. Yeah. And then you, you share your struggles and like you no longer even couple goals because mm, you have struggles yeah. everybody yeah. has struggles yeah. so i think for us it's just that yeah. identifying the values and the principles that people are applying mm. if i can see a couple they are thriving financially i'm like what are these guys doing exactly mm. they are thriving financially you know because yeah. i know they are battling other things behind closed mm-hmm. doors mm-hmm. so it's just identifying those values that are really working for them and saying you know yeah. what that is okay and also just being called couple goals honestly it's like it's pressure it is mm-hmm. one is pressure and i'm like Um so if you don't experience what I'm experiencing then will you trash your relationship mm. yeah. you know will you call it you know it's mm. not working because it's not as yeah. Joans it's not yeah. as Sharon's yeah. you know if your husband or your boyfriend is not posting you yeah. then is that unfair is it not working you know yeah. there are those expectations people have you better post me you know yeah. <laughs> and that and yeah. vice versa yeah. yeah so and that's the pressure what you are actually saying that the more you feed people certain content like what you say mm. we create a need in the society yeah. whereby we have to keep on supplying the same type of content yep. yes. and when you change they are like comments are quite fake yep. somehow yep, yep, yep. so i think it's 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 just wonderful to also be very sensitive by the time you're referring somebody as a um couple goals and um <clears throat> discernment discernment yes. is very important yeah to know you know what this i can take this i cannot take mm. i appreciate that about them i wish they can share in detail how they were able to build this business the way they did yeah. you know how they are able to parent 10 children mm. you know in this society <laughs> and how it is you know yeah people who are doing that i'm like mm. you're a man goal you know <laughs> <laughs> so basically that picking yeah. some and leaving out some mm. yes yeah. um i think for me i would say you have to look at what is attracting you to that couple mm-hmm. um that will help you see are you putting them on a pedestal because it's yes. something that your relationship is lacking mm-hmm. or is it something that you know you look at them and you're like oh i like that they do that i want to do that i'm going to keep looking at them so i see how mm-hmm. i can get there as well mm-hmm. as opposed to you know looking at it at a, as a place of this is the standard and if i don't get that then my man is horrible or my mm. girl is horrible yeah. right mm-hmm. um for i think for us we really don't like the label couple goal couple goals we really don't we've actually had this conversation and especially when the will and jada thing happened because we were like you don't know what happens behind the scenes mm-hmm. maybe yeah. we hate each other <laughs> but then we come yeah. on instagram we post a nice nice picture that's all you've seen literally mm. that's all you've seen maybe yeah. before it, before we took that picture yeah. maybe after that picture we fought you don't know mm. so i think you know every, just everything that you guys have been saying just discernment you have to look at why are you so attracted to them mm-hmm. are you putting them on a pedestal mm. if so you need to figure out is it in a healthy way yep. because you don't want it to get to a point now it's obsession and you have that's to be thing. like yes. them the yeah. obsession part yeah. yeah. <laughs> cuz now that's a point where it's it's now mm, yeah that takes away weird. from from now your your own your own relationship, relationship. Yeah. yeah and can i ask you guys mm. how are you able to tell that 
these are values from this couple mm. that you want to emulate because as content creators we know that what you've posted yani is such a <laughs> minute aspect, yeah. a minute yeah. aspect yeah. of yeah. your life yeah. so as a viewer how mm. are you seeing that is like uh, and and seeing this is a value that I mm. that I want to mm. emulate in my own relationship i think for me the consistency of how they continuously show a certain aspect of their life. Mm-hmm. Let's say for example it's the um, for the um, okay, I'm going now to talk as a mother here. Mm-hmm. For the husband who's constantly showing up to help mm-hmm. the mom mm-hmm. with the kids. Is it diaper change? Is it school pickups, school drop-offs and all that? Mm-hmm. You can easily see it's not a one-time thing. It's a lifestyle thing that's continuously mm-hmm. done. Like I say, hey, honestly, mm-hmm. genuinely speaking, this man is yeah. present in this area mm-hmm. of his family. Mm-hmm. Um and you're like I desire that. And you're like, okay, now can we pass this to our relationship? How how can it look like for us? Mm-hmm. So I think it's seeing the consistency of how certain people have represented mm-hmm. themselves. I know it may not be perfect for them as well. They are trying. So, but it, at least they've shown that it's possible mm-hmm. to some extent. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I can say that. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> okay, okay. I think I agree with you. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> um, for me, the the couples that. I look up to or I am inspired by are the ones who share quite a bit. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um I can give you an example. Uh one of the couples that I follow quite a bit is uh Deval and Kadeen Ellis. They're an American mm. black American couple. And for them I feel like I see a bit more and I get what you're saying that's mm. content creator thing. We choose <laughs> we choose what to share. Mm. That's just the honest truth. Mm. But for them the consistency in showing not only the trips that they are going on because i mean they have a fantastic life with their kids from what we see but they'll also show you the struggles they'll mm-hmm. they have a podcast where they also talk about their struggles they've gone through throughout the years and there's just these patterns that you see in certain couples that i feel that i feel mm, there's there's there seems to be a bit of honesty here yeah. versus this one just looks Cloudy. a bit cloud chasing mm-hmm. yeah, yeah yeah it's it's not all the time it's something big and grand and yeah. amazing and, yeah. but there you know yeah. it feels like life mm. yeah so from those ones i pick and choose yeah, yeah. and i feel mm. you know yeah. i don't think um looking up to couples is a bad thing yeah. because me personally i'm inspired by Ciara and Russell mm-hmm. and just you know Ciara's story of restoration because we also mm-hmm. have with future and all of that drama and him not treating her well and then she got this lovely man who yeah. you know adores her openly publicly and all of yes. that so i look at that and i'm like oh that's lovely mm-hmm. Um but then there was like an obsession with Ciara tell us your prayer tell us your prayer <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. 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 there was like so yeah. much pressure she even had to do a song and tell us her <laughs> life <laughs> yeah. she had so to that, tell us the prayer she, it's in someone's song i don't know if it was her song or someone else's song but she had to like tell us her prayer oh, you know geez. so and and I get quite a few DMs of oh I want a kagwe I want Tell this us your and, and, yeah, and, and all of that and I don't think it's a bad thing for you to look at a couple and you're like oh I like how he treats her I would want that yeah. but I think where I'm a bit nini about mm. it is when now you start forcing or being upset at your man mm. or girlfriend yes. if they don't do those if things they don't match up. yeah because we see yes. people being bought for Range Rovers billboards yeah. dreaming Tell me about it yeah so <laughs> now if your man doesn't do that you hate me <laughs> you're like does he even love me that does he love much? me is he yeah. working that hard exactly. <laughs> yeah. yeah and and i think i've been very um, like i'm trying to not set um ex- standards for people because i don't think i should be setting standards for anyone mm. um but like i shared a video of the flowers he's gotten me and only because he enjoys doing that he yeah, likes yeah. buying me flowers often yeah. and i know somewhere there's someone who's upset at their man mm-hmm. because they're not bought for flowers <laughs> yes. that much you reminded yeah. someone how they really don't get flowers mm-hmm. yeah, yeah so now that's where i'm a bit i don't know i don't know how i feel about that what do you guys yeah. think and it's a it's a tough one because you know it's human nature because mm-hmm. i can see i can see mm-hmm. your flowers your big 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 bouquet and then 
Maybe I really didn't care whether he was bringing me flowers yeah. or not. But, but then, now, now you care. All of a sudden, I'm just like, <laughs> actually, you know, and it's just, it's human nature, but you need to bring yourself back. Mm, you need to true. reel it back in and yeah. then remember all the other good things that are happening for you that may not be mm. happening. Mm. For, I, I, you know, whether they're happening for other people or not, mm. or whether people are seeing them happening for you or not, they are happening. Because mm-hmm. there's a difference in real life and the, yeah. mm-hmm. the show. <laughs> Yeah. Joanna, you had said about the girlfriend allowance thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Expound. Yeah, but then it's easy to feel that pressure Indeed. to be honest mm-hmm. and then you're like, "I me why am I not getting this? Is this?" And I think also there's there's this like um a uh, type of videos that have come up of late where like women advising other women on mm. what they should and shouldn't accept oh. some of them from i love by the, yeah from a man no from other women okay, oh, okay. there are also some from men i don't really no, listen we to don't. those okay. personally yeah. <laughs> but i listen like to as a man why from, do you have an opinion <laughs> yeah. of women to other women yeah uh like Shara Seven, Sprinkle Sprinkle. Ah, uh-huh, yes. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I I think it's so easy to, mm. to feel, to look at what you have and compare it to someone's best moments, you know, someone's highlight reel, mm. and you're comparing, you're comparing your entire relationship to someone's best I moments. Like it, yeah. mm. But now the question is, as a consumer how how do you constantly like remind yourself at maybe this this could be mm. just a part of their relationship mm. it may not even be real mm. how like how do you actually remind yourself that because mm. it's easy mm-hmm. to get carried away yeah it is. um i mean even you were saying how there are some moms who post their husbands helping with diaper changes, doing school pickups and stuff. Yeah. And then now you have a baby and your man doesn't help with diaper <laughs> changes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see, but Nani's yeah, man, 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 man. Yeah, yes. so you, why are you not, you know, and then you start yes. like really hating your person because yeah. they're not doing mm-hmm. those things. And sometimes it's valid. Maybe yeah, you actually want that. Yeah. Sometimes it's valid. So do you just like take your man or girl mm. as he or she is mm. or... How do you set boundaries with expectations versus mm. reality? Yeah. I think for us, it's the point when I see that, even with the aspect of couple goals and all things goals, mm. for me, sometimes I find it as a challenge. I'm like, I like how you're treating your man. I'm challenged to also mm. come up higher and treat yeah. him better. Yeah. You know, being married for the many years that I've been married, um, I have also seen, and it's funny that, the last two months, I think there's a particular there's a particular post that I came across on Instagram about this lady and how she was with her husband, and then the husband got unwell, and then he died. And then she was just saying, "I wish I I was a bit more accepting of him, a bit more present with him." Mm-hmm. And I'm like, sometimes you actually do take for granted what we have mm-hmm. behind closed doors, mm-hmm. without the social medias, and really just keep on asking for more and more based on what social media is feeding us yeah. that we forget what we already have what is precious as like i know my husband has done amazing things for me yeah and i can easily forget that because i'm like okay you've done this i've forgotten the good yeah i'm no longer mm. grateful now i'm looking yeah. for other good that yeah. you can apply yeah. like you have to be a perfect man for me to be satisfied mm. i was like no 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 it has to come better mm. i'm like i have to be better now let me challenge myself with what i'm seeing how can i be a better wife to you Mm. How can I be a better mom yeah. to mm. my children? How can yeah. I be a better girlfriend mm. to yeah. my friends? You know, it's yeah. not just picking, picking and also expecting people to supply to me. Yeah. Mm. It's also how am I supplying to I them? like that because yeah. you're yeah. looking at it from the lens of what can I do, yeah. not yeah. what can I the other person is not doing, doing yeah. which is nice. Yeah. That's nice. But mm. it, it, it took me that one grieving post. And I'm uh, like, wait, mm. okay, mm. hold up. Let's let's so. analyze what mm, we are doing here. Yeah. yeah. I think I would say um first of all, by the time you're in a in a serious relationship with somebody, I'd like to think you know what kind of person you're in a relationship with, mm-hmm. okay? Yeah. And the reason I say that is now going back to especially when it comes to um people with kids, okay? And exactly what you're saying, you know, when we talk about changing the diapers and not changing the diapers and all that. By the time you're having a child with somebody, I think as a woman, you know whether he is the changing diaper kind yeah. or not. Mm-hmm. Okay? So maybe it's a conversation that needs to be had so that you don't start feeling this way, this way. Mm-hmm. If you're the kind of girl who likes to receive big bouquets of flowers, 
along the way, you will have said, you know what? Actually, I really appreciate receiving big bouquets of flowers, yeah. okay? Because yeah. I'm just that kind of girl. <clears throat> All right. So you kind of know the kind of you kind of know the person that you're with. Mm-hmm. But on the flip side, I think you also need to, as you're looking at other people's relationships and saying, it needs to be more like this one. Also think like Soila. Are you ready to be told? Even you need to be more like Soila. That's yeah. yeah. Yes. Because me, that's where sometimes I yeah. catch myself. Because mm. I don't want to start saying this, this, this. Because I know I will be triggered to the core if mm. you start telling me you need to be more than like more the, like Sharon. Hey, I like yeah. Yeah. be with okay. Sharon. Yeah. Yeah. Don't be with Sharon. Go, so much. go live with Sharon. Or do you want me to move out? Do you want Sharon yeah. to move in? You know, yeah. I know that's where that conversation would go. So <laughs> even me, I try to watch my tongue. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. But also, I think some of these things can really be solved by just having a conversation, conversation. and saying, yeah. me, I would really appreciate I this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but also mm-hmm. be ready to receive the he would also appreciate yes mm. yeah so it needs to be both mm-hmm. ways yeah mm-hmm. okay um i have a quote that i want to read for you guys then you let me know what your opinions are mm-hmm. um so the quote says if you are happy with someone in private you don't need to prove it on social media what are your thoughts mm. joanna mm. tell us <laughs> okay me kwanza even so uh tiktok uh this like studies show apparently that mm-hmm. people who are happier in their relationships don't share them yeah. on social media oh, really? and i found that, that interesting well. yeah okay first i don't think that when someone is posting their relationship then proving something necessarily mm-hmm. i don't think you're proving something sometimes yeah. you're Some. just yeah. in love some, some. <laughs> some. 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 <laughs> yeah some i think sometimes you're, you're just you're just in love and you want to share that yeah. Yeah. um yeah, apart from the, those ones yeah. who actually mm-hmm. share for mm-hmm. clout and stuff. Yeah. So I, I, I genuinely don't think someone is trying to prove something. I can see why it would come off that, that way, way because yeah. there's a lot that you don't share. Mm. And um, yeah, I can definitely see how it mm-hmm. would come off that way. Mm. Um, <coughs> but I don't think you're trying to prove anything mm. personally. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. I think the same way. Mm-hmm. I don't think... Um, there are many who are happy and they are not social media people. Mm-hmm. There are many who are happy and they are social media people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There are many who are unhappy and they are mm-hmm. not on social media. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There are those ones who are unhappy True. and they are trashing their partners online. You know, True. So it's both sides. I don't think it's really the truth that only those ones who are happy are the ones who don't share aspects of their relationship. Mm. It just boils down to what they've decided as a couple. Yeah. Yeah. Are they online people? Are they private people? Yeah. And all that. So it's just a decision between the couple. Mm. Yeah. Mm. <clears throat> um, yeah, I, I, I also somewhat agree. Um, I, I think the only thing, the only thing is just based off the, the way the world is right now. Mm-hmm. Okay. Like I said, in the beginning, social media is a very big monster, okay? No one goes <laughs> in sharing their relationship with the expectation that it will end a few months later. Yeah. But if we are being very, very honest, we know that we need to have that somewhere at the back of our minds. Mm-hmm. The internet is forever. Um, so even as we are... So, so, so maybe it's that, okay, I'm not a very private person. I usually just share my life. I share my breakfast. I share everything I'm doing throughout my day. That's the kind of person I am. So if I have a partner, by virtue of that, I will share them. That's just the kind of person I am. Doesn't make me any happier or any less 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 happy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, So I I, I don't know. If you're going in with the intention of showing your partner because you want people to know I have a partner, then maybe that Mm. one you need to... Mm -hmm examine Mm -hmm. your relationship or examine yourself. Mm -hmm. But if you're going in just like, I'm happy and I just want the whole world to know Mm -hmm. I'm happy. You've gone raw, Safi. But again, I'll still throw in that caveat. (laughs) The internet doesn't forget. Um, I think the main thing is just what are your intentions as you're sharing? Mm. Are you just sharing Mm. for sharing? sharing. Are you sharing to prove something? Mm. Yeah. Me, yeah. I even think more people should share. Uh-huh. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. I feel like the the way social media is set up, mm-hmm. we see more 
negative bad stories about marriage and relationships okay. as compared to positive ones mm-hmm, okay. so the narrative right now is marriage is hard relationships are hard divorce rates are high mm. what's the point of doing all of this mm. men cheat all all men cheat yeah. all men are dogs mm. ogopa women, <laughs> ogopa fear no women <laughs> all of these things right yeah. so oh, okay, I, yes. like if you have people sharing positivity in their relationships it works against the negative stories and yeah. the negative narratives that are dominating social media right because mm. you know if i i think it it really really helps to to have people that you can see online yeah. and they just have a normal relationship there's yeah. no there's no those big things um, <laughs> happening right <laughs> that's where the problem comes exactly in. <laughs> because i like even especially on tiktok people share you know and um i've even had this ha- i've had this conversation with my partner and mm. he was saying he likes to see other black men share oh, yeah. because it helps him um mm. it helps him see that black love exists and black mm. love is a thing mm. right so we like seeing those like cute couple videos of people mm. like, doing picnics yeah. or oh my girlfriend um is on her period so yeah. I'm oh, buying yes. her <laughs> yeah. 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 exactly like <laughs> just cute, cute, cute things. Things. those two cute cute things yeah. because even as a man you get ideas you're like oh okay, okay. maybe they like this let me let me try or okay. uh, that's i i want people to share yeah. more positive stories okay. about their relationships and okay. their marriage so that we counter those negative um narratives that are out there especially with marriage kwanza that one yeah. there are so many negative stories about marriage and a lot of young people don't even want to get married mm. because that's all they are seeing mm-hmm. right so that's now true. when i look like at you people who've mm. been married i'm like yeah. you, they are working it out so mm. it's not that bad imagine even me i can do it yeah, yeah it so okay, yeah. i get that yeah. i get mm-hmm. I, i i get that especially when especially with the black love narrative yeah. Yeah. and especially for black men like you said that's mm-hmm. where now you've gotten me you've yeah. gotten me a bit because um especially if we have probably if we have more of that more of the regular love yeah. the yeah. everyday love yeah. yeah then people don't get too carried away with mm-hmm. the i flew him to she bought mm-hmm. me that mm-hmm. you know um and and by that i mean i mean no shade to that i mean if you can you go you do, do it, it. Yeah. but if that's all people are seeing then it's not relatable man then it it it, 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 it can <laughs> yeah. be tough to appreciate what you what, what you, you have what you, yeah. and where you're going personally though i actually kind of appreciate the negative stories okay. uh because i also feel like for a long time um marriage and relationships have Uh, like it's it's been made to look like it's a fairy tale it's so rosy mm-hmm. and so wonderful mm-hmm. so i feel like when we see maybe not the negative ones those ones of oh he'll cheat or yeah. maybe yeah. not those ones mm-hmm. but i like the ones of like people who are talking about um like why their relationships failed or why their okay. marriages failed okay. Okay. i That's think nice. they kind from of a like yeah from a learning yeah. perspective they kind of make you realize that it's not like marriage is not going to be like this easy yeah. and rosy thing yeah. and you can go into it you know with your with your eyes open yeah mm. yeah yeah no i think um i agree because i think it has to to be relatable yeah um so it's not we're saying just post um don't show us a fairy tale yeah. it has to be relatable yeah, right yeah. it's the everyday things that we're saying it's not just um the all of that it has to be relatable and sometimes yeah. relatability means that it's hard sometimes mm. and it's mm. and it's it's scary sometimes yeah. And, yeah. and yeah so i agree in mm. that regard mm. but imagine posting it <laughs> just post what do you think of those ones who tell their partners that if you don't post me you don't love me don't have oh, oh. Mm. <laughs> which i guess goes back to the expectations yeah. and mm. setting expectations Um I mean it depends. <laughs> like if you are posting the person you are yeah. with before, before me yeah. and you're like, why not posting Post me? Okay. What if, oh, maybe what they if you're someone something. maybe okay yeah maybe yeah. they learned something. Mm-hmm. But they've posted their five girlfriends before I would catch. And I'm saying that but me. I would catch. <laughs> <laughs> you're the special one. No no you're the special That's one. That's why I'm you tell you. <laughs> <laughs> We know those That's stories. We you. know those those your special <laughs> We know those ones. <laughs> Special one. We won't. We don't have to post two. We'll. We'll. Let's yeah. Build. I like it. Chini <laughs> Amaji. So are we saying that probably 
posting is part of the conversation as you're in date number something. It yeah. is. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. 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 Because I think um me I've been there. Okay. I've been that girl for why don't oh. you post me? Okay. Oh. Yeah, I have. Okay. So my ex my previous uh, boyfriend before this, he was very private, private okay. account. Mm-hmm. He has like 200, 300 followers. Wow. Okay. So I'm just like, okay, so you don't want to show your 200 people. people like- <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like if you had like a million followers, yeah. I get why you'd want to keep your relationship yeah. private. Yeah. And me, I was posting him, but mm-hmm. on my close friends. Yeah. So I'm like, this is your version of close friends. You okay. have 200 people. <laughs> I mean, it's Why close friends. You, yeah. <laughs> and it was a whole, whole like yeah. conversation that we kept having. Mm. And we never reached a middle ground where he felt comfortable enough to post, post me. Okay. So that never happened. Okay. And the one before that, his was even like worse. Mm. His was, he even made me... Um, internalize the fact that if you post, there's a problem oh, with you. Damn. Yeah. Then now wow. I realized I just took his opinion and made it mine. Yeah. But really, I don't have a problem yeah. posting. So that's why I was so scared, and that's why I was asking everyone. Mm. Oh. Yeah, yeah. But the reason he didn't want to post me is because he was hiding me. Because mm. yeah, well, there we are. Now that's, exactly. that's, that's, yeah. that's yeah. the one. That's yes. the fact. Yes. Yes. You're so, special. You're yeah. Are you hiding me? You're so special. I want to keep this private. Yeah. I don't want to ruin it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So it's yeah. just you have to. I guess it's like a, it's a date conversation yeah, for sure. It's like date mm, number yeah. two. If there's going to be a date number three, mm. like I need to know what the whatever are because there are people who one person is a public figure who likes to share their mm-hmm. partner, and the other person it just can't be bothered. Yeah, yeah. and it is what it is. It is what it is. Yeah. yeah, it is what it is. I think that the beauty is that part of the special people is like mm. they don't want to be accountable mm. to to you and to other people that yeah. know them. That yeah. honestly, you have somebody special and you want to make mm. them special and mm. that's it. So you don't share them so that your other two secrets mm. cannot also mm. say, you know what? But you told me you don't have a girlfriend, but you yeah. of course yeah. you know. I'm yeah. coming to you I'm... as a woman. <laughs> <laughs> God, please. Someone has come to me as a woman, <laughs> guys. <laughs> God, please. In, in, the, in a past a life. Woman. In a in past, past life. life. Yeah, someone came mm. to you as a woman. As a woman. Yeah. Oh, wow. Well. That's the opening statement. I, I hope you're well. I'm coming to you as a woman. Exactly. Don't, Don't come, come to me. me. <laughs> <laughs> Go to him. Hey, <laughs> hey I said, Remove me from. <laughs> I, I don't want to know. Yeah. Oh, my God. So, what, uh-huh. have, what have we agreed? So, is it, I mean, other than uh-huh. the date conversation, is it something that you ask? Even now, let's say mm. you've already, he's already your boyfriend, she's already your girlfriend. Mm. He's not posting you, she's not posting you, but you want to be posted. Mm. If they refuse, what happens? What do you do? I quantify your answer, 10 marks. Why, why mm. not post? I think, I think I'd want to understand. <laughs> yeah, why and I would want to why? understand. Yeah, why, why not? What are the reasons? And mm. if they're actually legit reasons, then it's fine. fine. But if they're mm-hmm. ish, ish, I am like, okay. But is posting something? you a show of love? Like, that's the other mm. question. Yeah. Mm. Do they love you if, if they don't post you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. They, they do. still love me. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But they love me publicly. <laughs> <laughs> Kind of appreciate. Tell you all these appreciate. others. Declare your love for me publicly. Let them yeah, know. Let them know you're taking yeah. me are together. Yeah. You know? yeah. Mm. To eliminate ah. anybody who was looking at you yeah. in a certain way. Mm. You know. Set on Facebook, we had the inner relationship. Yeah. Yeah. It's complicated. Yeah. It's complicated. Yes. Bring, bring, yeah. that. bring it back. Bring it back. Yeah. When you come to your profile, you see oh, yeah. who you are connected to. Yeah. 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 And then is he is he not posting you, but he's posting his best friend who is a girl mm, that's not the hey. thing is he posting mm. like i mean yeah. it, it, uh, yeah, if he's actually private and he just posts like a private person trees yeah. and such fine yeah. Yeah. but if he's just not posting you no. and posting if you're the everything only else, babe who is not making hey, it to the, those are the, the ones time, like, on the, the wedding story, yeah. post in a in a, well. in a meeting hey <laughs> yeah i think i, I think it's it's the yeah. reasons, the reasons are, are mm. important. The reasons behind it. Mm. Okay, question. How much is too much of sharing? Mm. Is that something you decide between the two of you? Are there standards of how much is too much? Mm. For us, we decide. <clears throat> for us, we decide. This, mm. is, this is not for the public eye. Like she said, that's yeah. private things that are private. Yeah. There are things that can be consumed by the public. Yeah. And again, <clears throat> there's something my husband once told me. 
consider your social media a footprint. You're leaving something behind. Mm. So when your kids are 30 years old mm-hmm. or they're 12 years mm-hmm. old in a school somewhere, mm-hmm. would they be laughed at because mommy showed mm. a certain aspect oh, on social yeah. media? You know, mm. We only think of ourselves when you're publishing stuff. We never think generations after us and how our children are going to be affected by the things we put up. Mm. Mm-hmm. So um, for us, it has become more of a family discussion then it is just, oh, so Ella wants to put this up. No, how is this going to affect my husband? Mm. Or how is this going to affect my children? Mm. Yes, to come. Years to come. Yes, mm. to come. You know, um, I know there's a conversation around people who share their kids online, those ones who don't share their kids online, mm. as we share our kids online. Mm. But there are certain aspects about our kids that we can't easily share online. You know, mm. can be easily embarrassing for them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They grow up like, guy, you know, yeah. what you now, your parents. <laughs> yeah. You know, some of these things, they'll they'll be picked up later on Mm. so if you consider it like a cv online and if you are next employer let's say or a business partner were to check your profile and like i like this person Mm. can one video honestly disqualify you i think for me when it comes to like should i post it should i not post it i wouldn't post it if i'm in that area of should i should i not i'm like this one it's even a question Mm. question, i'm like this one is not ready to go i'm not ready yet Mm. for this one to go outside Interesting. I, I I I like mm. everything you said. Mm. Even me, I've posted and deleted, especially oh! on stories, very yeah. many times. Mm. Especially when it has to do with my kids. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I also feel that it should be a conversation. Um. Like for us, we have our little basket of things that we know for sure we don't talk about. Mm-hmm. We have just our little basket of things, mm. which can also change as we go along. Yeah. We can still add on. We can remove a few things here and there. Um. And then the sharing, because sometimes, yes, it's a happy reel of your life on your social media, but sharing the realer moments can help somebody else. Because those, yeah. those are also some of the things that as content creators we need to think about or as influencers we need to think about. If you're influencing people's behavior, mm-hmm. then, I mean, you also have to show them a bit of the real stuff that may not be too pretty. Mm-hmm. Share some of that stuff. But... Not to the point that a few years from now you think about sharing that thing and you're going to sit down and regret it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I think I like just that. like you said, it's thinking yeah. about this footprint you've left behind. Mm. How do you feel about it? I honestly love the honesty part of social media. Yeah. Yeah. Me when too. I shared Me my, too. <clears throat> I remember when I shared, I stayed a while without sharing my miscarriage experience uh-huh. before kids. And I was telling my husband, I'm not ready. Mm. I, don't, I don't think this is something that I want people to know about oh, me. Wow. Yeah. And then when I shared it, the amount of DMs that I got. Yeah. I was like, wait, what? That's real life. Yeah. yeah. It's like, I'm I love that through, kind of content. Yeah. Real life I've content. I've gone through this and what you've shared has really helped me. Because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. you can easily think you're by yourself mm-hmm. in some of those situations. And it's beautiful you say that because I think the real moments really do change. Mm-hmm. Even if they are not the glamorous moments, mm-hmm. forget the glamorous moment because not everybody can easily. There are people who have the level of glamorous, mm-hmm. but those ones who really cannot access the glamorous and I think that's where their audiences mm, more different mm, people mm, audience work or mm, audience are wearing gina mm, but sharing the real stuff apart from just the, um, the one time moments that we have that mm-hmm. are grandiose yeah. would be honestly brilliant what yeah. you're saying where the tough times of relationships mm-hmm. how did you overcome this yeah. tough mm-hmm. times of marriage how mm-hmm. did you overcome that yeah. you know um, yeah sharing challenges also helps mm. yeah mm. <clears throat> how much is too much Okay, me, I would say my personal brand is what informed. Uh, it's like I said, it's not a conversation we had. Me, I already mm. came into the relationship. Yeah. No, whether it's yeah. you or another guy, I already know how much I plan to share. That's mm. good. Um, and my personal brand is what informed it because I'm a beauty and lifestyle personal, content creator. Yeah. yeah. So for the lifestyle part, I share like snippets of my life, mm-hmm. but ultimately, I'm. It's me. The channel yeah. is Joanna Kinuthia. Yeah. Yeah. And I have this fear that I'll share mm-hmm. my partner and then that will now become like your brand. The brand. <laughs> and I am so terrified of that. There's actually someone who I used to follow. I still follow her. And she used to post, um, initially she used to post vlogs on her own. Like mm-hmm. it was her channel and we're vibing with it, you know. Mm-hmm. And then she met someone and then started sharing him more and more and more on okay. her channel. Mm-hmm. And then slowly by slowly what happened is the videos where she's posting with him, him have like mad views, mad yeah. engagement. Oh, yeah. And then when then I think she, she started to realize and I don't yeah. think she liked it. Oh. So she started like kind of, 
posting, going back to how she used to post before. Mm. All the comments, where is he? Oh, oh my what's God. Wrong? Where is yeah. he? What's going on? Are you guys okay? What's, yeah. what's up? And I feel like that scared me a yeah. lot, yeah. a lot, because I wouldn't want to post so much. Mm -hmm. And then um, that now becomes my brand. Yeah. The, the photo that I put with my man is the most liked. liked yeah. And then the one that I put on my own, mm. which is what I used to do before, <laughs> now is not performing quantity, well. Yeah. Yeah. And then I start to feel, I should we maybe like, I, I think now it becomes, yeah, it, mm. there's a thin mm. line between mm. people are engaging with this content. Should yes. we now like just make it a thing and yeah. start making money from it? Yeah. You know, oh, let's yeah. do <laughs> brand collabs together. And then it just yeah. becomes a whole thing. And I feel like that's where now maybe the pressure becomes yeah. high. Yeah. Yes. Oh, so, yeah. Um, I have that struggle actually. Um, I guess maybe because we also we are fairly new in the social yeah. media space. So when we started sharing, there was a lot of engagement, a lot of that. Mm. Um, so we had another conversation. Hey, <laughs> you, <laughs> you have talked. Yeah. You have talked. Really talk. talk. Yeah. Um, about how to find a balance between our own personal brands and then us as a couple. Yes. Because we are not we don't want to be known as cup, a couple creator because yeah. yeah. we are not, you are I have my own things that I do. I have my own brand, my own, the podcast, my fashion line, and he's an artist and he has mm -hmm. his content creation. He has mm -hmm. his own things. Right. And so we had to have a conversation about how do we find balance because People like social, they like relationships. They like to see that. So mm. the photos of, of videos we'll do together will get a lot more likes than, yes. mm. than <laughs> you, you imagine you'll get to a point where you have to be okay with that. Yeah. yeah. That those videos, those photos will just get a lot more engagement, mm -hmm. but you have to find a balance where it doesn't take away from you as a person. Because the truth is, even in your life, your life can't revolve around your partner. True. You have other things. You have your family, you have your friends, you have your business, True. you have other things that you do. So your social media can't be just about your partner unless that's the <coughs> unless that's content yeah. that you want to push, mm -hmm. that we are a couple content page and yeah. all of that, yeah. right? So um, even, get, even taking brand deals was a, a very long conversation we had to have as well because mm. we didn't expect to make money yeah. together. Yeah. Mm. We were yeah. making money separately and that yeah. was okay. So we had to be like, okay, so are we okay making money together? Mm. How do we even split this money? <laughs> what brands are we okay taking? Yeah. Is this bag worth public mm. opinion about mm. whatever it is we do end up posting mm -hmm. um so at the end of the day it's just that our priority is our relationship okay. social media comes second Agreed. then you know it's our brand our relationship and then social media mm -hmm. so that's how we've put it um but imagine that will happen and you just have to be okay with it. it, does, it does. Yeah. Even me, that's that's the same boat. I mean, I mean, we yeah. opened a podcast together. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And it was for for some of those reasons. You post uh, whenever we post together, more yeah. engagement. Yeah. Which as a content creator, that's also good for your page. Yeah. yeah. If we are being honest, mm. right? And then we also started to get brand deals mm. that people would ask for both of us to together. be there together. Yeah. And it was bringing in money into the home. So mm. let's go and do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But again, just what Sharon has said, if, if that, and, or even, even just like you said, Joanna, I like that you said that you went in knowing that that is not part of your brand. Okay. Mm. My brand is family. Yeah. And I do fashion as well, <clears throat> but a lot of it is, I'm known for family. A lot mm -hmm. of my brand deals are around family. So it's in my best interest to still do these things with my partner to be able to secure my bag. Mm. But again, like Sharon said, you need to know where your dream yeah. line. So yeah. you don't get lost in, yeah. in it. You don't find yourself now um, not knowing what to do if your partner is not sitting there with you on yeah. your page. Yeah. Yeah. You still need to be able to stand yeah. alone unless the brand you've created is as a couple. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. you don't want brands to always ask for him. Yeah, yeah. what if he what doesn't want? Me? And then, yeah, and then he wants to offer <laughs> outside of my relationship. I can come by myself. I can come by myself and yeah. I'm impactful by myself. Yeah. So, yeah, you have, like, you, <laughs> you just... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I feel passionately about that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. you have to. Yeah. It's just boundaries. It's it boundaries. boundaries. Yeah. yeah. So to end the conversation. Mm. Already. Yeah, already. That was, that was <laughs> to end the conversation. <laughs> that was quick. Yeah. We have to talk about the clout. Clout. Ah. Clout. Okay. 
cloud the cloud chasing, chasing. Mm-hmm. Okay. cloud receiving mm-hmm. yes 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 what yes, are yes. our thoughts <laughs> um which also comes with the blogs the yeah media the all of that what 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 do we feel mm. <laughs> 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 i just want to say joanna <laughs> joanna cuz you've had a lot of media blog um, yeah. uh, uh, I, I, I can't call the whole company because of so, some wow. of her so, some of part mm. of her story in anyway, eh? <laughs> Girl power. We'll pick it up later. Yes. Mm, yeah. Yes. Yeah. The ones who came to your house and then oh, mm. oh, oh they, they cancelled them immediately. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I had yeah. even forgotten about that. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yes, someone came to my house. Yep. To do for me to to do for me a certain service. Yeah. And they saw my boyfriend in the house. Oh. And then they went and told, I guess, their friends. Yeah. I, okay, in their defense, I don't think they knew it would go as far as it did. Ooh, but it did. It does. <laughs> but it went really far. Yeah, and I, it, 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 I felt like a bit violated. Of like course. you came yeah. into yeah. my space yeah. and then you in ran. In my own home. In my own home. Um, and now it's public knowledge. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, but I, I don't know. I guess it's just uh, an occupational hazard. I don't think we can escape it. <clears throat> Um, to be, I know we can't escape it. If oh, someone sees you, Sharon, yeah. out here with someone else, mm, yeah. it will be out Does there. Does it affect you? <laughs> Does it affect you? Um, I think in the beginning it affected me, okay. and then no, you know it doesn't. I think if we're if we're in good communication, my partner and I, then I and I know where you are. I think the danger, and I remember this once, um, that something was posted. That he was Sijui here and he was posted mm-hmm. next oh. to this uh, mm-hmm. babe. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. that day, by the way, we hadn't communicated. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going online. I'm like, what is you, you're this? Being told where your Me, I'm being is. told where my man is. Yeah. Yeah. You know? yeah. So, so yeah, that it, it can affect um, a relationship in that way. But I feel like if you're in communication, you know where this person is. You know who these people are. Mm. Then when something is posted online, mm. then it's like, oh, I already knew that. You know. Yeah. So I don't okay. think you can escape it. Honestly, mm. you can only um, <coughs> figure out how to communicate better within your relationship so mm. that whatever comes out doesn't affect you guys. Mm. Mm. I have not experienced that myself. Mm-hmm. Um, what about the cloud, about cloud thing? chasing? Uh, me chasing clouds. Or, or other your opinion on others. <laughs> or, or others. Um, You've never been tempted to to do it. No. <laughs> okay. We really do share. To prank really your husband. Prank yeah. 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 He didn't oh, know the camera was there. Yeah. Oh. Done that though. For views. No, those okay, extreme no. ones. Yeah, like doing things for views. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 no. Honestly, even for us, we really we share the real, real stuff, like everyday life. Mm. If I can't sustain a, ty- a particular type of content, I'm never going to put it up. Oh, that's so we good. really share. Yeah. We really mm. share what our daily lives look like. Mm. Um, we have not experienced the negative aspects of social media coming for you or mm. something that you did okay. or seeing you doing something somewhere. We haven't experienced that. The only thing that we probably, the only back and forth we've had is on information. Like I don't agree with what you said, but it's mm. fine if you don't agree with what I say. That's okay. Mm. You, you are you are at liberty to go with your own information. Yeah. Mm. So that's what as you with experience mm. but cloud chasing I don't like it at a minute mm. I started following those ones who do those mm. ex- oh my I'm god like, excuse same. me what is I, this I can't yeah. stand yeah, I can. mm. but then it, it, it wears you off <sighs> it does. even as a consumer it yeah, wears you off it does. it's not sustainable okay they can sustain it for the longest time they can yeah. but for me it does not edify me in any way mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, too man. much <laughs> but even for me that just like you said um, mm-hmm. there is a couple that I used to Mm. used to sit in couple goals territory mm-hmm. for me then they started with the too many pranks mm-hmm. mm. and that just took away from their authenticity mm. it does. M- me, me me personally me as shiki i know i cannot sustain the cloud chasing so i will not go in that direction mm. um even with brand deals there are, there are certain brand deals that i feel ugh, if I if that. i really would not use that product and then i'm pushing it mm. so authenticity for me is very important. The only thing that I would say, yes, I do for views is the couple challenges that me and my partner do. 
Okay. Oh. And those those are just what I mean when I say we do them for views. We know that people love that kind mm-hmm. of content. Yeah. So we do yeah. it just for the entertainment yeah. of yeah. it, yeah. So that I will do. However, the hidden cameras and pranks I cheated and, on you prank. And I cheated <laughs> yeah, that that yes. for me so is <laughs> No. I don't enjoy watching it. Mm. I would not enjoy creating that kind of content. Mm. Um, yeah, me, cloud chasing. I mean, I'll watch. I'll watch if people are talking about a video, but mm-hmm. it's 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 not my cup of tea. Yeah. I think for me, the danger with cloud chasing is that it sets unrealistic standards um, for people to emulate in their relationships, mm-hmm. which... You know, as a, it really adds to those narratives that I was speaking about earlier. So I'm not a fan. Don't think I'm ever gonna be a fan. Um, about the blogs and media and whatever. Just like John was saying, it comes with the territory. It does come with the territory. Um, I wasn't prepared for that much media <laughs> attention when yeah, it babe. did happen. Mm. But when it did happen, I was just like. <laughs> like it should it was gonna happen. It was um, expected. <laughs> but I think it's just, you know, I, I never want to feel my my boundaries violated, like you were saying, or my privacy violated, which we meet people, I feel like when I used to meet people or people when people would meet mm-hmm. me before people knew who my man was, there were boundaries. They were like, oh, hi, Sharon, mm-hmm. hi, Sharon. When they meet us together, that's mm-hmm. different. Oh, wow. It's like now they feel entitled to us and okay. our space. Okay. And we've had situations where we've even had to say, oh, we just really wanted to spend some time alone oh. together. Yeah. yeah. Because someone would come and sit at our table. <laughs> Oh my God! To us, oh damn! But even us, we've had to. Yeah, exactly. Oh, and then oh. and it's yeah. okay. You can come say hi, but you you can't Keep feel entitled to yeah, yeah, our space. Yeah. yeah, hi, hi. We're happy to say hi. Mm. Take photos. That's it. And but then, then done. Yeah. Done. But like mm. when you come and now you feel entitled. You want to tell us things. You want to sit in our table. You want. <laughs> <to> <laughs> like, oh you my know God! What I mean? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that I is feel strange. like, and I feel like oh, the blogs Christ. and the media yeah. and the whatever is what fuels that because it now is. they feel like they know you and like mm. they are they are entitled to your relationship. Mm. Mm. And I've even seen comments for singing normally to post here. So we you are see, and that's the thing. <gasps> when you yeah. when you create a boundary, you also run the risk of showing up on that site that none of us ever want to show up <laughs> on on Monday morning. Yeah, um, <laughs> saying that you're being bitchy mm-hmm. or yeah. you know. Mm, don't even like talking to to fans mm. and whatever, and you're just setting a boundary. Yeah, it's just one of the risks that you run. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. even for for myself and because m- many of my friends are also content creators. So for yeah. myself and my friends, sometimes even when we are out, we'll ask for a more private area mm. if yeah. it's available, oh. a private room if it's available. But that's just so that we can enjoy without. Somebody trying to look for something. Or taking low-key videos mm. of you. I've, that has happened to one of my close friends. Uh, a lady pretended to be hugging someone and she was recording her. So, like, they had to go through the whole, delete that video. Like, they had to go to her oh phone no. and make sure it's deleted. Mm. Even me, I've been recorded. Oh, I see it yeah. online. It's so unfair. Yeah. 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 Did you just actually wake up and... A neighbor... That's one actually yeah. recorded oh, me. He lives yeah. across me. Imagine. And yes, and actually recorded and me. And sent to the and page. sent it to him. <gasps> yes. So I was seeing myself there. Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. unfair. Yeah, yeah, I mean, really that's unfair. crazy. I agree that it's an occupational hazard for sure, but, but I don't think we should normalize yeah, it. That's why okay. honest. Thing. It doesn't make it okay. It doesn't yeah. make it yeah. okay. Like if you're a Hollywood celebrity, you know paparazzi is a thing and yes. they will follow you and whatever. Yeah. But does that mean that it's okay no, for no. people to do that? No, Jumping over okay. your fence and recording. Yeah. yeah. And recording you in your home. From my balcony. Mm-hmm. No, I, I don't think. I think when I saw that the extent of that is when Prince Harry and the... Meghan. I was like, what's happening? There are even choppers coming over. To the part. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> yeah. I actually see comments of people saying I would hate to be a celebrity. Yeah, I can see why. Celebrity yes. Because you imagine mm-hmm. you're, you can't mm-hmm. even poop. Mm-hmm. They're just mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Ready to write about the smell of your poop. Because <laughs> you know, yeah. like, they're right she there. Poops she poops green. Yeah. She poops brown. She poops whatever they want. It's crazy. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. Oh. 
All right, My that's goodness. actually it for this episode. I feel like we could have even done a part two, for sure. but for today, we need to <laughs> thank you guys so much for sharing your insights. Me, I've also thank learned you. things. I feel like I'm yeah. still navigating this space. So yeah, so thank you for sharing. I don't know if you guys have any closing remarks you want to share. Speak to that camera or that camera if you want to say anything. Uh, do I have anything else? I feel like I've said most of what I would say. Um, maybe the only thing would be to say that all relationships are different. What makes this relationship happy may not make another relationship happy. So I'm just back to consume with discernment. Mm -hmm. um, pick the values that you are actually into or pick the values that work for you, but also remember you're only seeing a little bit mm -hmm. of someone else's relationship. You don't know if that's the only bit that they are happy about. Um, and you don't know whether trying to emulate it as a whole will ruin the good thing that you have if you do have a good thing. Yeah. Yeah. I think what I'd say is take responsibilities for your own relationships work it out, L know the needs of your partner and know how to supply them and also invite them to know your needs and how they can supply them. And then social media will just be something else. It shouldn't be the primary thing that is running your, your, your relationship so that when it's not there, you have nothing else to, to do. And for those ones who actually follow and look up to other people, I think it's some... I'd want to call you up and just tell you to also try and protect them. I think from just that experience of what you've shared, try and protect those ones that you look up to in a way. You don't have to respect their boundaries in public spaces, in their private homes. Respect their boundaries. Put yourself in their shoes. Mm. Put yourself in their shoes and how you'd feel if that one is violated. So, yeah. Yeah. Joanna? Um, I think I'll just reiterate what you guys have said, that now as a content creator, I can tell you guys for sure that what we share is just, just like we choose <laughs> what to share. Yeah. And me, I can even give you guys an example. Um, there's a time in, this is before COVID, I was dating a guy, it was long distance from Nigeria. I remember. <laughs> <laughs> So um, <clears throat> I met him in December and then I decided to go back to um, Lagos in Feb mm -hmm. um, just like to hang out with him and to be with him. But I didn't put that on social media because yeah. the friend who I went with was also going for a social media like mm -hmm. convention thing. Mm -hmm. And I, I was also going to like be a part of it. Okay. But what I said is me, I'm going to Lagos for this social media convention because right. I felt like I wasn't ready to share <laughs> that part of yeah. the relationship. So it's just like what we share is just so, so, so little. Yeah. So don't don't use it to like um, so make any decisions or mm -hmm. anything like that or decide mm -hmm. that this guy is good or this guy is bad. Um, you just make the decision independent of um, social media. And like they've said, mm -hmm. take the values that um, you can use mm -hmm. and but just everything Please. with a <laughs> pinch of salt. Yeah. Yes. yeah. I think for me as we wrap up... Um, Social media is not a bad thing. Please share. Share more black love. Let's see men treating women right. Let's see women treating men right. Um, let's see real relatable life stories. Um, let's change the narratives that are out there that that all men cheat, that black men are so-and-so, that women are this and this. Um, it's not a bad thing. As you consume with discernment, also share with discernment. Mm -hmm. And yeah, Simbaya, to post to, yeah. <laughs> so that's all for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you're watching us on YouTube, please leave us a comment and tell us your thoughts. If you're listening to us on our podcast platforms, thank you for listening. I will see you or you will hear me in our next episode. Bye. Bye. Bye.